Hey Right Gear listeners, this is Kay Tempest Bradford and this is my first video talking about Evernote features and just basically showing you how they work on some of the devices that I have. So we're going to do page capture today and page capture on an Android phone, my trusty Galaxy Note. And I'm just going to walk you through basically how you do this. It's pretty simple. So I'm in Evernote here and down here I'm inside of a random notebook that I created and there's a little green plus button. This is how you add notes anywhere in Evernote. You hit that button and it brings up a list of the kind of notes you can do. Because I use page camera a lot, I actually put this as the primary one, but that may, it may not look that way on yours, but you can always move these around. So hit the camera button and it brings up the camera feature. Now the way that I have it right now, this is in manual mode and I'll show you why it's manual in a second. But that's with this little icon up here which looks like the sort of picture icon that you see everywhere. That's what that indicates, you're in manual mode. And I wanted to do that just to show you some of the, uh, the few things that you have on here. This is the very, very latest Evernote version for Android. If you have a slightly older version, yours may look different, your camera may look different. I actually suggest that you go ahead and upgrade to this because it has a lot of really nice features, especially here in page camera. So at any rate, you have the, the flash button up here. It can utilize the flash on your phone. You can either say, auto if it needs it, or on or off. And then right here is how you take the picture. But before I do that, I'm gonna switch to auto mode. Now, auto mode is gonna auto detect what's going on, and it's going to determine what kind of picture you've got going on, what kind of thing you've got going on here in the camera. And once it determines that, it's finding the edges of things, as you can see, it'll capture it automatically. Now, when it does this, when it's auto detecting, it will try to figure out what kind of thing that you've taken a picture of. And this one is correctly surmised is a document. And so it will tell you it's saving as a document. And as you can see, it did a nice little crop to just the areas of the document that had actual content. You can also go in and say, no, I don't wanna save it as a document. I wanna save it as a photo, or it's actually a post-it note, although it should be pretty good at figuring out if it's a post-it note, or it's a business card or a color document, which I'll do in a second. Most of the time, it's actually been pretty good at auto detecting what kind of document it is. So we're gonna go back because, I wanna do a different type of document. There we go. So this obviously is a typed document. And so now it's saving that as a document, and as you can see, it's cropped it pretty closely. All right, one last one. So it's correctly interpreted that this is pretty much a photo. But I can say, no, actually, it's a color document. And now it's cropped it to just the part that has the content. So it's pretty cool. Then when you hit save, it will put all the things you scanned in um, as images here in the note, in a regular note, in the order that you save them or scan them, which is really important, especially if you're scanning sequential pages. You don't want them to be all over the place. And from here, you could just treat it like a regular note. It'll auto give it a name. If you have that feature turned on, you can also give it whatever name. You can tag it. You can then go and add new stuff if you want to by hitting the camera button. You can attach other things. You could do all the things you could do in a regular note with the, the notes that you get from the page camera. So sometimes a page camera takes a little bit of fiddling. As I say in the podcast, make sure you're in a well-lit space. The stand scan has pretty good lighting, but not like super top notch lighting. So it's, it's sometimes with my camera, will struggle a little bit to figure out where the edges of things are, where the shadows are, etc. But that's all gonna depend on your phone. And it's all gonna depend on like how good the flash is, how good your scanner box is, all that stuff, all those things go into it. But at its base, this is actually a really powerful feature that I like a lot. As I said in the podcast, 
this is how I got into using Evernote regularly. It's pretty great. All right, so go to www.therightgear.com. That's W-R-I-T-E as always. And make sure you listen to the podcast, Delving Deep into page capture, and then come back to this YouTube channel or subscribe to it so you can see more of my Evernote videos as I do them. I'm Kate Tempest Bradford, and I'll see you next time.